see must be out of your mind, out of your mind. Hi guys, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. Today's video has probably been the most highly requested video on my channel. So many of you guys have been requesting a full review on my slime shack. So I bought so many slimes from Courtney's restock and she still had some Harry Potter themed slimes which a lot of you guys told me about. So I am so excited to review all these slimes for you guys. And a huge, huge shout out to you guys because my slime shop is almost sold out again. We restocked close to a thousand slimes this time and we're almost sold out which is insane so thank you guys so much but if you guys are still interested in trying to snatch some slimes I have my link in the description box below or you can go to boabouslimes.com and check out what's left on my shop and for today's post notification shout out there are two of you guys so the first one goes out to Leah Park and to Layla Hines thank you guys so much for having your post notifications on if you guys want to get shout out in my next video make sure you click the little bell after you subscribe and comment down, down below when you've done that and I I think that's what it for this intro. We have so many slimes to get into, so let's get right into the slime shop review. Woo! So here's the slime package I received from my slime shack. I ordered a total of nine seven ounce slimes for $99.68, including shipping. And it took about a week to arrive, which is pretty standard. I thought our slimes were very reasonably priced, and each slime came very nicely bubble wrapped. And there were also packing peanuts in the box for added protection. And in my package, she also included a bag containing her business card, borax, and candy. And she provided so many extras with my order, which was so nice. We have some Skittles, a sequin heart keychain, a donut squishy, and some Christmas themed charms. So first up, we have Unicorn Gel. I looked at my order and this is actually called Unicorn Blood Gel, which makes complete sense based on the appearance of the slime. Her containers are nicely labeled with her logo and slime label, and I also like how they describe the texture and scent of each slime. This is a thick jelly slime that has pretty glitters in it and unicorn confetti pieces. And you guys know I love super thick and holdable jelly slimes but I just wasn't a big fan of this one. It was pretty overactivated to the point where it was tough to stretch and it would just rip apart pretty easily if you stretched it too fast. And it also just felt like it had a little bit too much instant snow in it. I love a jelly slime that's thick, but also stretchy at the same time. And unfortunately this one was not. I could have just received a bad batch of slime though. I love the whole theme of the slime, but I just wasn't a big fan of the texture, unfortunately. Moving on, we have the first slime in her fall trio. This is Pumpkin Roll, and it's described as a DIY clay, thick and glossy base. I noticed the container was cracked in the front, but the slime didn't leak out and it was still in perfect condition. And the slime also hardly mixed in transit, which is amazing. The colors look so pretty in the container. It was slightly melted, so I did have to reactivate it. But after I did that and mixed the clay in, it was a perfect texture. The slime turns into an amazing butter slime texture after mixing. It's just so soft, creamy, and spreadable. It feels pretty clay heavy, but I personally love it. These are just my favorite slime textures at the moment. It has a light pumpkin spice scent. The scent is really light, but it's noticeable when you play with the slime. I really love this one. Next in the fall trio, we have Ghoulish Jelly. I'm obsessed with the color of this slime. It's such a pretty purple color, and it also has pretty glitters in it and Halloween themed confetti pieces. This jelly texture is so different from Unicorn Gel. This is what I'm talking about when I say I love a thick jelly slime that's also very stretchy. This slime is super stretchy and it doesn't rip when you stretch it out. It's perfect. It has amazing bubble pops too, and it's a great slime for poking. I'm also obsessed with the scent. It's described as a sweet candy scent. It kind of smells like jelly beans, but even sweeter. Whatever the candy scent is, it smells so good. I highly recommend this slime.
For the last slime in the trio, we have Pumpkin Crust Fizz. This is a snow fizz slime texture, and I must say, this is probably one of my favorite snow fizz slimes ever. I don't purchase too many snow fizz slimes, but I also love a good snow fizz when I get one. The texture is super thick and very holdable. It's also very crunchy and sizzly. I don't think I've ever purchased a snow fizz slime this thick. I just love how thick the base is. It makes it such a unique slime texture. I love strong smelling slimes and that's just a personal preference of mine. I've noticed her scents are pretty light, but you can definitely notice them when you play with the slime. I thought this was another great slime. Moving on, we have the Harry Potter themed slimes. We have the house set of four, and the first slime we have is Slytherin Gloss. This is a thick and glossy slime, and I love the color. It's so spot on with Slytherin. And I also love the add-ins of the black beads. It adds a really nice touch. This slime is super thick and definitely very glossy. The gloss is just unreal. It's a great slime for poking and has really good bubble pops too. The container says it's scented like fresh cut grass, but I couldn't really smell a scent with this one. If it didn't say fresh cut grass, I would have thought it's an unscented slime. I still loved everything else about this slime though. Her thick and glossy texture is really nice. Next up, we have Ravenclaw Batter. This is a pretty baby blue colored slime that's filled with marshmallow foam beads. And there's also small blue foam beads and some Deathly Hallows glitter pieces. It is so pretty. I just love the whole aesthetic of this slime. It's so on brand. I also love the base of this slime. It's super thick, but also very stretchy at the same time. And it has amazing bubble pops from all the add-ins and it's super crunchy too. It's also scented just like it says on the container. It has a fairly strong apple butter caramel scent and the scent is delicious. I love the combination. I'd say this was the strongest smelling slime out of all the ones I'm reviewing today. It is amazing. And here we have Gryffindor Cloud. I love the colors of this slime. It's definitely giving me Gryffindor vibes. And it also came topped with gold foil. The slime just looks so pretty in the container. I really wanted to love the texture of this slime, but it just wasn't my favorite. It doesn't really fluff up when you stretch it, and it felt kind of overactivated and stiff. I think there might have been a little bit too much snow in this slime because there was a lot of snow fallout on my hands and tape. I don't usually mind snow fallout either when it comes to cloud slimes because obviously it was made with instant snow, but this slime left a good amount of snow fallout on my hands. Cloud slimes can sometimes be tricky to make. I personally feel like they're one of the hardest slimes to make. I still love the theme of this slime and the light mango scent, but I would have to pass on this cloud slime. And lastly, in the house set, we have Hufflepuff Dough. This is a thick and holdable slime that came topped with a pretty glitter and some micro foam beads. It's the perfect texture where it's thick and holdable, but it also has enough stretch to it, and there's zero bead fallout with this slime. I also love how it's scented with a bread scent to just complete the theme of this slime. It's a really light scent, but again, still noticeable when you're playing with the slime. Overall, I thought the house set was a really good bundle. I may have just received a bad batch for Gryffindor Cloud, but I thought the slimes were all really well thought out, and for the most part, the textures were really good.
And finally, we have Polyjuice Potion 2.0. This is a micro foam slime, and I remember purchasing a micro foam slime from her shop before, and I remember it being pretty stiff. And I believe it was Polyjuice Potion, so I think this is a revamped version. I love the colors of this slime. They didn't really mix in transit. The colors look so pretty together. And guys, this is an amazing micro foam slime. It has the perfect amount of bead to slime ratio. It's so crunchy and so stretchy too. And I also love how it doesn't fall apart when you stretch it. It's amazing. I don't purchase too many microfoam slimes, but this is definitely one of my favorites at the moment. I also love the color this slime turns into. It kind of turns into a mauve purple color. It says it's scented with a denim jean scent, but it kind of smells more like laundry detergent to me. It's a really interesting scent, but it smells really good. You guys definitely need to check out my slime shack. I'll have her shop link in the description box below. For the price, I thought this package was so worth it. you guys this week thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching this entire video let me know who you guys want to see a full review on next or if you guys like my famous versus underrated slime series better let me know in the comments below i have so many more fun slime reviews coming up for you guys so if you aren't already a member of the k squad hit the red subscribe button down below and join the fam thank you guys so much for being here i love you all so so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys